Michelle Muscatello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Still damp and drizzly in most areas this noontime, though the steady rainfall has uh, come to an end, came to an end uh, about mid-morning. With rainfall totals, we're healthy soaking here of rain. We picked up about three and a half inches of rain in Providence, Coventry, about three and a quarter inches. Similar in Socket, Hope Valley, just over three inches of rain and about two and three quarters inches. Narragansett and North Kingstown, some of the reports that I've gotten in this morning. Now, uh, smaller streams and rivers running high today, but our main rivers, they're fine. They've been running so low because of the lack of recent rainfall. Uh, so the rainfall on Sunday actually broke the old daily rainfall record for April the 22nd. The old record was 1.43 inches from 2000. We topped that in the rain gauge at 1.59 inches yesterday. And while it's a significant amount of rain, we still have a seven inch rainfall deficit here going into the end of this month. So uh, we need more soakings like what we saw overnight. The radar nice and quiet now, but again, not telling the whole story because it is very misty out there. And that is visible from our city cam with the low cloud cover. 57 degrees, south winds have died down. They're right now sustained at about 12 miles per hour. Uh, we've got 58 in Tiverton, 59 in Woonsocket. We have seen a little bit of bright a few breaks in the cloud cover trying to develop over our northwest corner of the state. You know, the wind's certainly down from the peak gusts. This was happening 2, 4 o'clock in the morning. Fairhaven, Mass at 52 mile an hour gust. Connecticut Point at 48. We had Fall River with a 45 mile an hour gust and Rantham coming in about a 42 mile an hour wind gust. The bus stop this afternoon still damp, still cool. Can't rule out a shower 58 to 63. The reason why I'm putting a shower in the forecast for this afternoon, even though the bulk of the rain is lifted north of our area, notice this little developing shower off to our south here. This looks like it's going to come up and clip at least the threat here of southeastern Massachusetts, but maybe even parts of Rhode Island over the next couple of hours. So that's something that we'll have to watch. Very warm air settling in across our area uh, compared to where they've seen some snow, upstate New York, western Pennsylvania, higher elevations there, upwards of a foot of snow in spots, the Laurel Highlands, where I used to ski growing up, picking up a foot of late season snow. About 56 degrees in Newport this afternoon, 56 Hope Valley, 55 in Westerly. It's still going to be breezy, mostly cloudy. It will keep the drizzle and mist along the coast. Northern suburbs, this is where you've seen that little bit of clearing, so partial sunshine, probably just a spot shower possible up here, windy and milder, low 60s. And in southeastern Massachusetts, we'll keep you locked in with the showers, mostly cloudy and damp this afternoon, about 60 Fall River, 61 in Seekonk, Middletown near 57. On the bay, visibility poor in the showers and the fog, small craft advisory, two to four foot for uh, the wave height, high tides at 954, the low tide three o'clock this afternoon. Overnight tonight, temperatures into the 40s, partly to mostly cloudy skies tonight. There may still be a little bit of mist. I'm expecting a partly sunny sky for Tuesday and Wednesday. Highs at about 60 degrees. It'll still be blustery on Tuesday. Maybe a spot shower possible uh, during those, those days, but I think a better chance of seeing some more showers on Thursday. Looks dry and sunny as you head into Friday afternoon. I think